All right, it's uh, 21st of April, and I actually just counted 63 new buds on this one single plant. This is just one dragon fruit. Oh, actually, it's uh, on the bottom. It's six plants coming up. This one trellis, but overall, it's just one planting, and I'm actually really impressed because there's literally 63 buds that formed on the fourth wave. Literally like covered with buds. Like this one branch itself has six buds on it. That's pretty impressive. Obviously when there's too many buds on one branch you can't sustain it but all these guys I only have one or two most likely they will usually they'll abort it when there's usually when there's more than four I think four is the most I've ever seen on one branch but usually when there's only two or three a lot of times they all survive and how I actually got this to happen is first and foremost about two and a half months ago I started using these lights. These lights actually help to stimulate the flying process. It's a 50 watt right here. And that's why I'm producing so many buds and so quickly. Like the first ones came a while ago and there I have fruits. The second wave looks like this. And the third wave looks like this. But now the fourth wave ones are just coming out and they're looking like little yellow buttons. And these guys are on this uh, older, uh, fatter branch. Even though it has five, I think possibly all five of these buds might be able to make it. And they usually get a lot bigger, sometimes exceeding two pounds. But 63 buds on one planting. It's pretty impressive. And one of the secrets to that is how there's so many branches. Usually I let them grow outwards, kind of like uh, planting trees, where you want to get uh, the maximum amount of sunlight on each branch and as many branches as possible. So this right here, I let them grow to about maybe 18, 20 inches, usually no more than two feet in length, so they can grow upright and then they stop. So even if they grow fruit, they can actually stay relatively upright. So therefore I can get a lot of branches going upwards and you can maximize the amount of uh, green surface that sees light. And that's how I can get so much. For the other plant, on the fourth wave only have about 18 that I just counted. It's kind of odd how they kind of make these buds simultaneously, but they do, even though it's different plants. Like there's only 18, so it's not really going yet, but as you see, this one, it was actually shaded by a pretty big tree on one side, so even though it has a light, you had this tree that was blocking this left side of it. So it's a lot slower. And another reason why uh, this is producing so well is I put a lot of compost all the way down to about a foot deep. So all these roots that come down, like all through here, They get to enjoy about a foot deep 
of all compost and also fertilize it a ton usually with uh, what's it Epsoma and I use a bloom booster too to try to uh, foliar feed these branches to try to uh, encourage as much budding as possible yeah I'm actually impressed 63 buds it's about three times as much as I've ever had last year and I can't wait to see in another month or two once these guys fruit it's gonna be pretty amazing but yeah a lot of times they're still gonna have their little prickly part right on it so I sometimes flip those off but yeah these guys just appeared today So usually with 63 buds, a lot of times it can't support that many, but you're even getting like 40 or 50 of them to survive in one wave, that's still a lot of fruits. So as far as watering, I usually water it about once every three days. I usually use a five gallon bucket. Now I just try to water it all throughout. And usually, when it comes to this, I'll at least uh, give them one good fertilization of uh, NPK fertilizer, as well as uh, putting in a bunch of uh, micronutrients uh, and azomite. And every so often, every few months, I'll use a mycorrhiza that I'll water in. And any kitchen scraps of waste, like eggshells, I'll just throw it in there. Yeah, and one final factor is, as you see, full sun. That can definitely help uh, give maximum full synthesis and uh, get me the full potential to get as much production as possible. And this is my red dragon fruit. Definitely way behind, but I'm thinking by the end of uh, the season, it might actually start producing fruits. Made this off a bed frame. Love my cuttings. This is a red dragon fruit again. Here's some of the ones that I grew from cutting a year ago. All these guys growing on these stone pillows should start fruiting this year. This one already is. Already has four buds. 